Today we're going to show you how to assemble your be built, be snug, all season roof. Press pause at any time to pause the instructions. The only tool you will need is a number two Phillips head screwdriver or a cordless drill with a number two Phillips head. If you want to apply tongue oil or paint to the sides or paint the top of the roof, get your oil or non-toxic paints and brushes together now as well. First, let's get familiar with the parts in your roof kit. On top, you should have two roof ends. These are roughly triangular and have holes in them where the roof vents will go. Next, you have two roof sides and a ridge cap. Next, you will have two sheets of aluminum clad roofing panels with plastic protectors on them, a sheet of canvas, some hemp insulation, the plywood insert, and finally, a bag of hardware. Start by placing your triangular roof ends about two feet apart on a flat surface with the slots at the bottom of the end facing each other. Next, insert your plywood insert into the slots at the bottom of the roof ends and push them together. Do the same with the roof sides, tapping everything into place. You don't need to square things up, as the plywood insert will do that for you. Open your package of hardware and set out eight of the long screws, two at each corner. All the screws are not the same, so make sure to use the longer screws for the corners. Be careful at this stage. Western Red Cedar is a great wood to use for beekeeping but it is relatively soft. If you use a drill, go slowly and stop a turn from the end so you don't strip out the screw hole. Carefully screw in the eight long screws through the end pieces and straight into the sides, finishing the tightening by hand. Be sure to push everything together tightly on each corner as you are working so that everything fits tightly together neatly. Place your tabbed floor vent into the plywood bottom. Don't bend the tabs over on the bottom, as you'll want to be able to take this part out later without taking the whole roof off your hive. If you want to apply tongue oil, which is recommended, or paint the roof, now is the time. Apply oil or paint the outside surfaces of the ends and sides. Don't oil or paint the plywood bottom or the insides of the ends or sides. After oiling or painting, allow the coating to dry completely before proceeding. Place the hemp insulation in the box. There may be multiple pieces. The hemp should be snug on all sides. Add the ridge cap and carefully screw the ridge cap onto the top of the ends with two of the smaller screws, making sure to center the ridge cap and finishing the screw by hand. We think the copper and white sides of the aluminum panels are great colors of roofs in winter and summer. But if you want to paint your aluminum panels, now is the time. To paint, remove and discard the plastic protection from both sides of the aluminum panels. Use steel wool or rough sandpaper to scuff up the side you want to paint. Then paint them and allow them to dry completely before moving on. Decide which color of the aluminum panel you want facing up and place it on top of the assembly. Then slide it up snugly into the ridge cap. It is very important to slide the aluminum panel up into the ridge cap snugly and not leave space for bees or any other insects to get into your roof. Holding the aluminum panels to keep them from sliding down, carefully screw in four of the smaller screws on one panel, finishing the screws by hand. It is very important to screw straight down through the aluminum panels and into the roof ends. This will make sure your roof is watertight and that screws don't protrude out the surface of the sides. Secure the second aluminum panel with four small screws, again, making sure to push it up snugly into the ridge cap. If you want to add a feeder, install it after the roof has been installed on your hive. When you're ready to add it, remove one aluminum panel, remove the insulation, remove the floor vent, and place the filled feeder in the roof, centering it over the hole in the plywood insert. Finally, reinstall the aluminum panel, making sure it is snug into the ridge cap. Push the two roof vents into the ends of your roof. Make sure the vents are pointed down and be careful not to bend the louvers. Find your piece of canvas. You will use this canvas when you put your new roof on your Langstroth hive. You'll place the canvas directly on top of the frames of the top box or on top of the inner cover if you have one. 
The canvas will keep the bees from propolizing the roof onto your hive, making it much easier to remove your roof. You can replace this canvas with new canvas over the years. Your new roof is now ready to install on top of your Langstroth hive. Click below to learn how and when to add the bee snug roof to your hive.